And for much more on what's happening on the ground, we're joined by Steve Waltz, spokesperson and head of global PR for Sheba Medical Center. Steve, always appreciate your time with us here. The main thing drawing our attention today, the number of serious cases, I believe, doubling since about a week ago in the country, though. The number's still not astronomically high, but how is Sheba dealing with this, or is there concern there of overloading? Uh, we're not concerned of overloading yet. Prime Minister Bennett uh, visited here uh, last week to go over all of the things that we have been doing since day one of Corona in February 2020. Uh, we are ready, willing, and able to handle between three and 500 patients at any given time. Uh, the prime minister saw the different corona units, spoke to our top people, and as you know, uh, our people like Professor Gilly Regev have been on the front lines of trying to figure out ways uh, to vaccinate people properly, to keep the schools open. We're, we are ready. The question is, you know, will we be overwhelmed? You know, the numbers are astronomical right now, but we're not seeing it yet at the hospital. But if the numbers keep rising, we will be challenged like every other hospital. Now, among those seriously ill, what's being seen so far? Is it uh, does the children, are there other vulnerable groups such as pregnant women? Who's falling ill? Well, uh, right now we only have two very seriously or critically ill patients, but we do have children who are sick, and this has been the case since Delta started. Uh, so remember that it's not just the Omicron virus that's hitting people out there. We still have the Delta virus. We never, ever, ever finish with the last wave with Delta. So some people have Delta, some people have Omicron, and yes, we have several pregnant women. We have a special unit here at Sheba with several pregnant women who are corona uh, patients. And uh, we also have a psychiatric unit for people who have corona. We have not opened that yet because we haven't had the need to. But we are ready for every part of the hospital to open whatever we need. And whatever the government asks us to do, we will do it going forward. And what about the convergence with the flu this year? Has that been a serious issue as well? Well, you know, we've spoken about that on the air several times. I said several months ago that the possibility of the twindemic was possible and it is happening. So, you know, up until last week, the hospital was challenged with a lot of flu patients. Now we still have the flu patients, but now we're starting to get that wave of corona patients. How quickly things will rise, no one really knows. They're saying for another two, three weeks we'll peak. But we're seeing numbers out there that we've never seen before. The hardcore cases have not come to Sheba yet because Omicron is a lighter disease. But if people start getting the combo, who are unvaccinated, combo of either Delta or Omicron, those numbers will rise precipitously. Steve Waltz, thank you for the updates. Good to hear you and the staff at Sheba ready for what may be coming down the line. Appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you.